Am I interrupting? Hmm. Who knew the coffee business was so intense? I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, you can say I'm busy, so don't let the door hit you on the way out. I'll happily leave as soon as I get what I came for. Being the concept of this is my private office? Uh, see, I left something here the last time I saw you, but obviously you're a busy man, and I'll happily let you get back to being busy as soon as I have my property in hand. Clearly there's a lot of subtext going on here. I'll let you two work it out. You're a producer, aren't you? You did an expose on the fashion business last year. Uh, Amelia something. And you're... Kate Howard, editor of Couture Magazine. Forgive the pun, but uh, neither of us would want to be caught dead in the office of a known mobster. Fraternizing with a known racketeer is such bad PR. I know the FCC wouldn't approve. I don't deal with the FCC. Well, and the IRS, pick your initials. All I know is the government's very touchy these days about who people are in bed with. That said, I'm sure there's no doubt you can be as discreet as I intend to be. No, no doubt at all. Nice to see you again, Miss Howard. I can't find my flash drive, and the last time I saw it was the night I was here. There's some personal information on it, some phone numbers. Hey, first of all, uh, don't ever talk about me like, you know, I'm not in a room. Oh, you don't have to worry because I have no intention of discussing you with anyone, nor do I ever intend on being on this room again. <laughs> what makes you think the flash drive is, is here anyway? For all I know, you stole it so that I had to come back. Just like the night that you stole my homework at... Never mind. No, oh, like the night that I didn't want to do the homecoming with you, and then you threatened to ask Eddie Sorrento and you were gonna give him a, a hickey the size of the Bronx. I bet you that's that's personal information you forgot to put on your flash drive. I want my flash drive back. Shame on you, Connie Falconeri. I thought this this big change in you was all about class and manners. You blow into into my office twenty years after you dumped me, and you you demand to use my phone and pretend you never knew me. I explained it all to you. Oh, what, all I got from your explanation was that you, I'm not good enough for you. But look at me, I'm still here, smiling and pleasant. I'm not hurt or angry or uh, conned up. Excuse me? <laughs> That's what the Serenos used to call it. They, you don't know anything about it. They, they'd get you all mad and they'd say, oh, she's all conned up. But you know what? I didn't go to the old neighborhood and look up Eddie and Frankie and tell them what really happened. You wouldn't dare. You know me good enough not to dare me. Now, unless you're nice to me, ain't getting your property back. So you're trying to blackmail me for the return of my own property? Well, blackmail's a, a harsh word. Why don't we just say we're nego we just negotiate? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm expected back in the city. Then go. I want my flash drive. Well, I'm sure your assistant could figure out on the concept of backups. Fine, I'll buy it from you. We'll call it a finder's fee? I don't need money, because I'm doing great. My life is great. I yeah? Don't even, yeah? Do you actually earn your money in your business? Shouldn't we be using less polite terms like, I don't know, extortion, racketeering, okay. grab? Okay, first of all, first of all, I'm a coffee importer, right? And if you keep making fun of my work, you're not going to get what you want. And I'm sure that, you know, this, you, you use the information on, on this to your advantage on occasion. I mean, you could take the girl out of Bensonhurst. All right, Corinthos. Why don't you tell me what I need to do to get it back? why you chose to settle here. It's lovely. There's a port, decent downtown. Still feels like a small town on the outskirts. I came here to run a strip joint. 
Reggie. And my mother said you'd never amount to anything. Your mother never liked me anyway, so it doesn't matter. You scared her. Oh. You scared all the mothers. I would think that the strip joint would explain it all. Really? What's the difference between paying gorgeous women to dance naked uh, on, a, on a stage or asking them to parade nearly naked on a runway wearing clothes that human beings wouldn't be caught dead in? Fashion dictates culture. Clothes have the power to transform. Also, uh, a couple of outfits changed Connie Falconeri into Kate Howard. Maybe. Clothes can carry illusion into reality. Yeah? Well, I can afford custom suits, but I still know who I am. And if you think that uh, you're still not Connie Falconeri from Bensoners, you're kidding yourself. Okay. See, the difference is? Yeah. You still feel like Sonny. I, on the other hand, am Kate Howard all the way down to my pedicured toes. Are you saying you recognized me the other night? From the minute I saw those dimples. <sighs> is this standard procedure for you to just walk into somebody's office and start demanding things? Well, I've learned that you can get a lot in this world by firmly, ah. but politely insisting. Anyway, it was an awful night. We ended up lost in the storm with the deadline ticking on the shoot in France, and I needed a phone. I walked in that door, and there you were, Sonny Corinthos. I was floored. You hit it, Bo. Well, I've also learned that you get a lot more in this world if you don't show what you're thinking. What were you thinking? Same deliberate air of mystery. Same cocky, I don't give a damn smile. Same Sonny that made all the girls a sacred heart go weak in the knees. Mm -hmm. Trouble waiting to happen. So I decided to use the phone and leave with you none the wiser. <laughs> I wasn't surprised that you didn't recognize me. Even after you figured it out, I really saw no reason in ever seeing you again. Then why did you leave the flash drive? It was an accident. You left the flash. It was you were flustered. That's the I was in a hurry. Admit it. You were flustered. Okay, look, you dragged me all the way out here to negotiate. So just what are your terms? There's something I want you to do for me. <laughs>